hello everyone today we are going to work on aiming this machine gun so if i am aiming you can see machine gun is actually rotating to the direction i am aiming at if i am not aiming it will remain in the last aimed direction so that's why it's not straight now so but if i aim it moves like this so when i shoot the bullets will go properly exit properly and we will properly see the muscle flash as well uh, but if i'm not aiming and just press the fire button you can see it's just shooting straight right so this is what i'm going to work on today okay so at the moment as you can see here the gun is not actually rotating only the helicopter is rotating and if i shoot as you can see bullets are going in the correct way but uh, the gun is still straight so what i want to work on today is rotating this gun dynamically towards the direction that we are aiming at okay so for that first let me open the helicopter blueprint and then let's open the attack helicopter animation blueprint right now here let me zoom in a bit so we need a way to rotate this gun towards the direction we want so let's go to the skeleton and gun base let's see which bone i have to rotate Right, this gun joint from this we can move it up or down and gun base joint one we have to rotate it horizontally okay so these are the two joints that matters to me right now let's go to the anim graph this is for the rotor okay here let's add another transform modify bone well actually two of them one is for this joint horizontal rotation and one is for vertical rotation oh what's the name again gun base gun base joint and this one gun just joint okay right and let's test which bone to modify oh wait first we need to set the rotation mode let's promote this to a variable i'll call it um, mg rotation mm. actually not all the axis matters here I'll set the rotation mode to what let's say add to existing in yeah we have to see Z 
this one also let's try at 260 let's keep it in the component base and see what happens what if I change X here 45 right oh that's not it so we have to change Z here yeah is it is what matters here and for this one for the next joint um, what? oh that doesn't look right Yeah, let's try parent bone space and compile. No. Yeah, actually, this one has to be the bone space and X. That's the one we need to change. This one, what if I use the bone space here as well? Yeah, here we can actually test that. Usually we can see it in the bone space and what's changing here is pitch as you can see here. So make this 0, make this 45, compile, yeah. So if I make it minus 45, it should turn the other way. Yes. Okay. Right. Now we need a way to communicate this uh, rotation value from the blueprint to the animation blueprint because the main blueprint is the one who knows where the player is aiming at. So before figuring, figuring out this calculation and how do I have exactly I should connect the MG rotation to these pins, let's define a way to communicate that so we already have this ppi helicopter and a blueprint here i'll add a punch function uh, set mg rotation here the rotation input Now, uh, for now, let me just split this and set X here and Y here. But these pins may have to change. Um, let's test and see how it should work. Uh, in the event graph, I'll add set mg rotation function. <coughs> oh wait maybe it's not a good idea to directly set this so can we the here this one new one some smoothness this would be better all right so now if I am Amy yes here if I am aiming I should uh, set the machine gun rotation how to do that right here Let's have a branch. If I am aiming, 
Let me add a reroute node here. Let me just collapse this. MG location. If I am aiming, uh, we need to get, sorry, this is the helicopter mesh, get anim instance, set mg rotation, okay, now how do we calculate this? I think uh, we can get some calculation by get control rotation and also get rotation and getting the difference of these two. This in the Let's print the value we get here. right when i look to the left your changes from 0 to minus 90 here 0 to plus 90 yo and when i look down pitch changes to minus uh, 90 when i look up pitch changes to positive roll doesn't change okay so i think we can use that but here actually what I have used is pitch means y yo mm -hmm. is the one we have to use because that's what changed horizontally and for this one pitch but maybe we have to multiply it by uh, minus one but let's see right now you see the gun rotates to whatever the direction we are aiming uh, but you can see it's looking down when I look up right so that means I have to multiply it by a minus one right now it is working but we can't clearly see that so let me lift the helicopter up see now you can see the aiming happens properly So if I look down, aim down and release, so now you see this is aiming down. If I aim up and release, so you can see it's aiming up, but I have to add some constraints, otherwise it's gonna penetrate the body of the helicopter. It's gonna go through the body of the helicopter, like here, see. Okay, so I will remove this print. Don't need it anymore. And here let's add some constraints. For this one, uh, I think this is pitch. Minus 
minus 45 is fine plus 45 that's too much 20 much 15 right, 15 seems fine but still there is a chance that bullet is going to hit here so okay right minus 45 to 10 And yo, we don't really have to change anything. No need to clamp. Right now, let's test. Let's uh, lift the helicopter and test. now it just rotate but if I just press like this you can see bullet is going somewhere else but the gun is not rotating so in that case what we can do is we should actually follow the forward direction of the gun nozzle so for that what can we do here when we calculate the short target um, forward vector I think we can use the forward vector of this muscle flash if we are not aiming uh, but we can do a select here if we are aiming use this otherwise use this see now the bullets are going forward I mean words are going on towards the aiming direction great okay so here I am going to stop this episode and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye